Thank you. New tonight, the town of Mooresville is releasing the water quality test results connected to a massive sinkhole. You'll recall that sinkhole forced the Tire Masters business to close its doors in February. The town then said it would buy the property and work to fix it, but it's the coal ash inside the sinkhole that was a major concern. And so now town leaders hired an independent company to test the water stream in the area. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre sat down with the Mooresville town mayor and shares more about the results. Yes, the results are in and one of the streams tested is directly across the street from Tire Masters. Samples were taken and checked for heavy metals and for radioactive materials. Now, I also got a chance to speak to Mooresville Mayor Chris Carney and he says at the end, they just want to make sure that the water source here is in its healthiest state. To be fair, we were prepared for either side of the equation and it's just we got uh, lucky that the um, stream hasn't been impacted as much as we, we thought it was going to be. A stream flowing across Tire Masters is where Mooresville Mayor Chris Carney says samples were collected. Samples were also taken where the stream enters Lake Norman, tested for heavy metals like arsenic, barium, cadmium, and also for radioactive materials. And the results? The levels were below what naturally occur in the environment right now, and we're not even close to the maximum uh, contaminant levels that are required for drinking water here in the state of North Carolina. The tests come after a massive sinkhole formed on the property after heavy rain caused the coal ash and metal pipe to collapse several years ago. Coal ash is essentially waste left over after burning coal in a coal-fired powered plant and contains toxic byproducts. Prior to 1994, the sale of coal ash didn't have to be reported to the state, so energy companies used to sell it to use as filler materials like dirt. Concerns of water contamination is why the town of Mooresville says they took action and cleaning it up is the right thing. I don't think any of us think coal ash is something we want to, you know, see more of put in the ground. Um, so obviously we understand that that change has been a good one uh, for the public safety. I just don't know that we're um, at a place where we have enough information to realize is there a danger to our public to the buried coal ash. And that's a place we're testing and, um, and we'll take we'll go where the data takes us. Town leaders are working on grants to buy the property and make repairs. That does include fixing the pipe on its entirety um, and fixing the sinkhole. We'll continue to test and uh, and check. But at, uh, the, that stream will be coal ash free when Duke's done. And that and, and the same thing with us. When we're done, there'll be no more coal ash coming from the pipe. The pipe and moving to the stream. Leaders say they will continue to monitor the drinking water, continue testing as required by the state, and ensures that the drinking water of Mooresville has not been compromised by this situation. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.